Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another video. It's your boy Kenix here for another video, and today we're gonna talk about how to create rotating stairs in Blender. So the thing is, why I'm uh, I'm showing how to create this is not only because of a tutorial. It's because uh, in the modulation process that I'm uploading to YouTube, it's already in the first part. I have created rotating stairs, and I don't know if everyone knows how to create it. So today we're gonna learn how to create these rotating stairs. If you didn't saw the second episode of our series Let's Talk About, go check it out because today we're gonna use the radial array technique and in that episode I have talked uh, more about it and you're gonna understand more if you go and see it. Alright, so I'm gonna leave here a card for you to, to click and see the second episode and you can pause this, go check it out and then come back to understand more and more about this radial array technique so today i'm gonna explain this in the different way so we no further ado let's go to blender all right guys we are here in blender and now i just need to add here a cube it will be our ladder all right now we have it will be our stairs all right so basically now we have our stair created and now what we uh what i need to do or what we need to do it's just go into edit mode select the face that we want and shift s cursor to select it all right and now leave the edit mode and set origin to 3d cursor all right super easy super fast now what we're gonna use it's the same thing that i use in that episode of our series we're gonna add here empty I'm gonna add here a plane axis and now what we what we need to do it's just go into our objects and control a apply rotation and scale and in the empty the same thing all right and now super easy super fast we just need to add here a radial array modifier so let's go and uh, add the radial array modifier if i'm saying fast or uh, what you need to do uh, you just need to go and check it out the second episode there i talk more and uh, i go more deeper about this technique so today i'm just showing how to create these rotating stairs if you want to know more about this technique go check it out the episode all right so let's go in the array modifier i'm gonna go and activate the object offset in the object offset we're gonna use the empty now you can't see anything going on because we need to go into our empty and move it to the place that we want i want basically something like that all right just for the sake of the sake of this tutorial i think this is looking pretty good all right so now where is the rotating stairs basically we need to go into the count and go and put something like 16 or 22 something like that and now we just need to rotate our object offset and you can see that we can create super cool stuff let me just add more into the count all right and now you can see that we have already created our rotating stairs super easy super fast and super cool to you to, to just add to your project in my project i have it here a cube in my project just for the realistic just for realistic uh, uh, reasons all right guys so basically this is the project this is the thing and you can see that it's already super cool let me just hide this and rotate this something like that all right just to be more more uh, understandable all right so basically this is the video this is the tutorial and if you want to understand more about it i'm gonna say it again go check it out the second episode you're gonna understand a lot about this project and in that episode we talk really deeper about this technique so that's it i see you in the next video i hope you understand and when you see it in the modulation process you understand how you understand how i created and that's it i hope you like it if you like don't forget to give a like and subscribe the channel so, I see you in the next video. Bye, guys.